Hi, this is Bill Hens from ENM. Today we're going to take a look at an interesting solution for a common problem, and that is making several industrial devices, even those from the same manufacturers, play nice together. We call the solution a universal protocol bridge. Now I'm going to open up the software configuration package for the bridge, and let's start a new project. The data station plus is where we set up our communications, and you'll see here Within the device, we have a USB port, 232, 485, and an Ethernet port. The Ethernet port allows us for four simultaneous protocols. We want more? We can add an expansion card with DeviceNet, Profibus, CAN, or additional RS-232, 485 ports. But let's go ahead and put in a PLC. So we need to first pick a protocol and you'll see here we have a list of quite a few I'm gonna go ahead and grab an Allen Bradley data highway 485 we set up a terminal number address 2 wire 4s RS485 and now we have a PLC we can call it a slick let's say SLC1 okay Let's do an Ethernet protocol. Take a look at the devices available. Let's grab a Modicon. Modbus TCP IP. Mod 1. You see here now we pick an IP address for this unit. And now that we have a couple devices, we can actually add what's called a gateway block. In the gateway block, we're going to pick registers internal to the PLC. Let's say the 40,000 registers for the Modicon. And how many do we want? Let's say 16. So now I've got 16 40,000 registers. Now if I pick on one of those registers, it shows me the available mappings. Let's go ahead and map in from the slick. let's say it's timer values we see the timer it asks us by default if we want to fill all those registers with timers and sure why not let's get all 16 slick timers we'll map them into the Modicon 40,000 registers we'll save that and now if I were connected to the device we just click this to update it, it downloads the configuration, plug in the PLCs, and they're talking to each other. In this case, all the slick timers would be mapped into the L into the Modicon's 40,000 registers. Let's add another one. Let's say we've got a Siemens PLC on our floor too. Pick an S7 200. Let's give it a name. SMS1 and add a gateway block into him. Siemens has variable memory locations. We'll start at V0 and we'll, let's map a bunch of them. Let's say 64 this time. So now we have 64 V memory locations and we can map into them some of the Modicon registers. Let's take a look at the analog inputs. Saw 64? Sure. Save it. Download it. Oop, don't have it hooked up. That's it. Pretty slick solution for a complex problem. Oftentimes we have a lot of different manufacturers' PLCs on a plant floor. This allows us to make them all talk nice together. You'd like to see one? Give us a call. We'd be glad to come out and show it to you. This is Bill from E&M. See ya.